So big tour for India in England, five test matches and the conversation will again come at some point to how their spinners bowl. No one better than Graham Swan to talk about bowling spin in England. Uh, Swanee Ashwin, as good a bowler as he is, just thoughts on the mindset of a bowler who's so successful in subcontinental conditions. What does he need to keep in mind when he approaches this tour? Well, what I always found with bowling in India is very similar to bowling in England mm. in many ways. The ball, the Duke's ball, is very similar to the ball you use in India. Very different to the Kookaburra. The Kookaburra is hard to bowl spin with because it seems quite big in your hand. The seam almost disappears into the ball. There's very little to grip onto later on. But the Duke's ball stays quite small and the seam is quite pronounced. So you've always got some good grip. One of the reasons I always rub my hand in the dirt in England and then rub it on my trousers so there was no mud on my hands. But that was to dry my hand, get any moisture off my hand whatsoever. And then when you hold the ball, you've got traction. So if your hand's dry and the ball's dry, you can you get friction and then you can get traction when you bowl the ball. So the balls are about the same. So what I'd say to Ashwin is, you don't have to do that much difference from India, apart from you have to be more consistent in England. Because the wickets are slightly quicker and they're slightly more bounce. And so if you miss your um, landing spot by say six, seven inches in mm. England, you can be cut, people can rock back and cut you because the ball will bounce. In India, if you miss it, because it keeps lower and skids a little bit more, you, don't, you can get away with it. So you've got a larger margin for error. One of the reasons Ashwin is so good in India, and I've played against him, we realise this, is because he's got many small variations. Mm. And the ball's always landing more or less in the same place, but with tiny variations, you don't get bad balls because if it's slightly off, it doesn't bounce, you can't get the power behind your shot, you can't use the pace of the wicket. So in England, you have to have less variation. You just have to be consistent. You land the ball in the same spot, every ball, and let the pitch actually do the damage for you. So let's put you in the bowling, uh, uh, in the bowling crease. Just tell me what you would like to see Ashwin do possibly. So Ashwin, because he doesn't get the ball to turn as much, he's got to come from a more an angle more outside the off stump. So say mid crease here. Mm. When I bowled, I wanted to get my front foot basically in front of those stumps. Right. Because I was all about looking right over Very this back yeah. shoulder and pivoting right round. And because of that, the ball would start about middle and leg stump and then drift away, turn back into the stump. But Ashwin won't get that, that drift, drift and turn. So what he's got to do is bowl from wider because he's straight on here and it's more of a straight line. And he'll still get some drift because he does, he puts a lot of revolutions on the ball. But it'll drift less and then turning to hit the stumps. If he came here, obviously, and tried to get in front of the stumps, he'd first he'd run into the stumps. But it'd more likely like, either push it outside the off stump, it wouldn't be able to turn back enough, or be too straight and turn down the leg side. So he has to go sort of mid crease. On his most recent away overseas assignment in South Africa, I saw Ashwin also move a bit in his crease. Bowling right arm over to the right hander. Sometimes Ashwin's release points can vary. Yes. Could you just take me through what could work for him and what couldn't? Well, yeah, like I say, my action was always the same, so I always had to look right over right. my shoulder. So I landed pretty much the same place every ball, but I would, every now and again, if I was trying to set the batsman up. So if a batsman was playing well, I would try and drag him across his stumps. Hmm. And that means basically, so you bowl there, then the next ball you might be three or four inches further to this side, and then the next ball, hmm. another foot. So you end up bowling right out here, and the whole idea of that is to get the batsman get his head moving across the line. If his head moves, then his body will go. And you try and bring your short leg fielders sure. in. Or if I drag him across, then I go straighter again and ball, and his head's gone here, and he misses a straight one, and he's LBW. 